Hi guys, so in this video I want to cover the rotating movement component. Uh, it's a pretty um, simple component that comes by default with Unreal Engine. So um, let me show you our example project and, I'm, and then I'm going to explain what it does and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. So. Okay, the focus here in this video should be the coins that are getting spawned and then they just spin around, okay? So that spinning is driven by this rotating movement component, okay? So to set it up, actually to simplify things, since I'm in this project, I combined it with the projectile movement, I'm going to delete everything related to the projectile movement component and then just focus on the rotating um, Rotating movement. Okay, so you have your actor, your static mesh here, which is our coin. Okay, which will be the coin, right? So this is just the coin, and that's a static mesh. That's a coin. So the moment you do add, and then you select the rotating movement, it will start. It will rotate this actor when it gets spawned. That's basically what it does. So as you can see right now, what I did here is I've removed projectile movement and then I've just left the rotating movement component. So one setting you'll be interested in is this one, the rotation rate. So this uh, controls how fast uh, our component updates or how fast it spins, okay? So by default, it's, uh, it has um, 180. Um, I've set mine to 1800, which means it will spin faster. That's basically it. This is a setting that should mostly be uh, um, working with okay you just edit and then you um, play with the setting and uh, we have xyz here we are targeting the z which will rotate the object around the z axis you can uh, target the y axis and then it will rotate around the y so and so on and so forth so let's see now that uh, removed the other component what this component does on its own what it does to the actor on its own and, uh, you can see that it just rotates these coins um, from the moment where they're spawned, okay? So that's basically uh, what it does. When the actor gets spawned, the actor starts rotating at the rate that you set it. Simple as that. Um, it's a nice little um, component that um, simplifies things if you want to uh, rotate them, like spinning coins when you're making a game which has a um, coin collection or something. Anyway. Uh, the way I'm spawning this, um, I'm using uh, I'm using this plugin right here, uh, Media Engine Broadcasters, and whenever um, like the cash register sound comes in, I just um, spawn spawn that actor. That's all you need to do. Okay, just spawn the actor. So for you, maybe you can use like the left here, like the left mouse button. Okay, doesn't matter. All you need is like an execution pin connected here. What's driving the execution pin is really up to you. For me, I'm using the MIDI engine plugin when the MIDI load comes in. Uh, and then if it's the cache register sound, uh, I just want to spawn a coin. That's basically it. Um, yeah. So let's look at it one more time and uh, let's change the, the rotation rate so that you can see that. It controls how fast the, the coin spins when it's on. Perfect. So, uh, if you want to learn how to spawn these bullets and uh, those bullets that are shooting off, make sure you check out the projectile movement tutorial. Um, that's a tutorial for the projectile movement component. So, check that one out. Again, uh, you can also check out this MIDI Engine Broadcasters plugin, uh, which will help you fire off events when MIDI nodes happen so that you can sync your events with that music. Thanks.